my name is Kirsty Barlow. I did a degree in theatre and performance design um, and graduated three years ago from the Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts. And since then, I've been a freelance set and costume designer for theatre um, and live events and a scenic painter and maker for theatre and live events. I've since graduating, since that year I graduated, I've worked at Wild Rumpus as a freelancer um, all three years. So it all started last year <laughs> um, and Rowan um, like taught me through the areas that, were, that they were going to do at the zoo and how there was different themes for sustainability. Um, and the ones that I was focusing on what was a what was originally going to be um, like a fabric environment, but not, then it turned into a plastic environment. Um, and the the maker space. <clears throat> um, so for the plastic environment, we were creating like an archway of plastic and making these um, creatures to go inside of them. So it, it started just from like research images and, and ideas and then that grew into um we we found a company that um had all this plastic like it was their waste but it's like amazing it's like all these different colors and so much of it um so i started making flowers out of the plastic that we're going to make the archway out of and um, crocheting with the plastic. So cutting it up and making it into big, massive balls of wool plastic um, and crocheting these creatures with it. So I've done four snails and I'm partway through a cricket at the minute, but I've still got some more to do with all that. Um, and the maker space for the zoo is going to be a, um, an area within the installations where workshops can happen um, and there's going to be like a exhibition of like community projects in there um, so I, I'm designing that space as well. It, it started, uh, Rowan was like oh let, let's I want to make a maker space which is essentially a building um, which isn't something that I'd done before so I just thought right I'll start with what I know and started making the model of it um, and doing research of what I thought might be good and I, I, a lot of the research what what the model came from was research into like buildings that were basically built out of a structure of shelves um, wooden shelves and because it's going to be used for a workshop I thought the shelves will be useful um, and buildings that were like clad in uh, clear material plastic corrugated plastic so that it would let a lot of light in um, and be a, a nice space to do workshops in bright, airy, welcoming. What does sustainability mean to me? Okay, um, so I think it's important to su be sustainable so that we can preserve what we've got for the generations in the future. Um, and it's been good to be part of this project uh, where we're thinking about sustainability so much is that I would never would have thought that there would be a company getting rid of so much plastic that seems so fine, <laughs> like it's so usable it, it's, and it's free. And they're, I assume that they're happy to, to, for it to go somewhere. So it's made me think about everything, where, where we get everything from. Maybe there's a way to get more of it from sources like that, where it, it's, it's going to waste. Um, but I think my top tip for sustainability is thinking about where the things that you're buying are coming from um, and I, that can start because I think it's a good tip because it can start so small and then just keep growing so say if you start with one one thing you're like okay there's pasta in the supermarket there's some that comes in a plastic bag and there's some that comes in a cardboard box 